All right, everyone, so part two of my Rockville Mini RF4 review. Uh, finally got to take these lights out to a gig and test the range out. Uh, that was the biggest thing and the last thing that I uh, didn't get a chance to test at home. And you know, this venue that I went to, I think really put them to the test and really gave me an idea for what I could expect for the range. You know, this venue had really tall ceilings, was nice and spacious. Uh, there were plenty of people, tables, there was even a stage that provided sort of an optimal area for me to test the range out both in the master slave and in the RF function. So take a look, let me know what you guys think. All right, so here's the venue. See, I got a huge ballroom. Perfect spot to test this out. Now, just to let you guys know, these guys already have their own uplighting. So the ones that you see around the room right now are the Chave DJ Freedom Pars. And this is like a light bar that they have built in. Now across the room, you can see that green. Those are where I have set up three of my Rockville Mini RF4s. And I'm gonna grab the remote here. All right, and try to change it. You can see, right now I'm out of range. Nothing's changing. Uh, I'm gonna walk a little bit closer now and try to see when the range actually kicks in. The lights should turn off as soon as it gets the signal. See, I'm still holding them. There we go. One of them's still on, so right here. Right from, the, this is probably like, what, 40 feet or so with a couple tables in the way. All right, now I'm gonna test master slave range. So uh, I'm gonna put this light into pulse mode. You can see over there, all the lights are off. So we're going to master mode right here. All right. So we are in master mode. And actually, looks like a couple of the lights a couple of the lights are getting the signal over there. So let's go and check it out. Looks like two of them are. Okay, so one, one light is receiving signal. The other one did momentarily and then stopped. And then the last one hasn't received signal yet. So, I'm gonna go back and bring the master light a little bit closer to see if I can, at what point the range will kick in. But that's interesting, the master slave range is definitely better than the IR, oh, there we go. Actually, all of them, as soon as I just touch the light. So right over here, you can see they're all synced up. This is significantly better range than the uh, RF remote. All right, now I'm standing. Yeah, they're all synced up. Master slave mode definitely has better range. Let's see when they go out of sync now. We're still in sync. Still in sync. We're still in sync back here. I mean, this must be about 100 yeah, we're starting to get out of sync right over here. So, um, probably 100-ish, seven, I don't know, maybe 80 to 100 feet right now. And uh, let's see if I go back to my booth where my master would normally be. Yeah, we start to really get spotty signal there. Um, yeah, now we've lost signal. So interesting, much better uh, range with master slave than with the uh, RF mode. Same thing now, I'm testing how far away it works. I have them all on a pulse mode. I'm trying to turn them off. There we go, right around here. Same thing, 30 feet-ish. I'm gonna try to turn them on again. Only one got the signal. There we go. So still pretty spotty from like 30 feet away. All right, now this is just to give you guys a comparison. Side by side with the Chave Freedom Pars, it's a little less bright, 
but unless I knew that they were different, I would not be able to tell. All right, so we're gonna do another range test. I put the light over here. I'm gonna put it on green. You can see it working from over here. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit. All right, now you guys remember where the light was? Pressing, all right, there we go, it worked. Turn it off. Pretty good, okay. Turn on one of the modes. All right, so we are getting signal from here. Kind of a, a line of sight. Let's go back to my booth. All right, so now we're at the booth and I wanna see if the light turns on. We're gonna do green so it stands out. And as you can see, no signal from the booth here. That's unfortunate. So I'm not able to get signal. Let's see how close I have to get. Not from here either, huh? There we go, okay, so we got signal. But it's very spotty from this distance. All right, so now I have the lights set to Master Slave with the light in the same location, basically where my remote was. And you can see it's actually glitching, so even in Master Slave mode, um, there's definitely some difficulty just from this distance across the stage here. You can see that light is kind of lagging back there because it's not getting the signal properly. Um, I'm a, I'd like to say, you know, with the stage, this has a stage in the way, but I mean, this can't be more than 50 feet, 650 to 60 feet away. So just to summarize for you guys, uh, basically what I noticed is that the master slave range is noticeably better than the RF remotes range. Um, you know, when I bought the lights, I was thinking that I was just going to be able to click that RF remote and all the colors in the room would just change. Um, kind of like the Ape Labs. Well, uh, you know, unfortunately I was disappointed. I guess my expectations were a bit too high. Um, I was also expecting the same for the Master Slave range, honestly. So uh, in a way, you know, I was disappointed by both of the results that, you know, there was definitely a limitation within that sort of space for how, long, how far the signal goes. Um, but, Definitely worth noting that the master slave uh, range is better than the RF range. Um, in my first test, when I was sort of across the ballroom, you know, it was significantly better. You know, I would say probably about, um, you know, almost double the distance of the RF uh, remotes range. But then, interestingly, when I had that stage in the way, the master slave function was working, but it wasn't, you know, as significantly better than the the RF remotes function. So, um, with that stage in the way, I would say it was probably like a, a you know, 20, 25 foot uh, improvement with the master slave modes. All in all, what I think I would rely on these lights for is basically consistently illuminating you know the wall behind me if i put up lights there and then probably the walls on the side or at least probably like half of those um, i think what i would have to prepare for is that if the signal doesn't reach the other opposite side of the room farthest away from you know either my master slave uh, or rf remote that i would have to just have those lights set to a standard color and then have the rest of the lights that are within range you know set to uh, whatever mode you know that that I want to do when it comes to like dance floor time, because um, I'll probably just have solid colors the rest of the night anyways. The second thing is I I honestly with the performance of the RF remote in this uh, gig that I took it to, I don't see myself using it that much. I mean it's just not very valuable when you know if I have to go into the middle of the dance floor or or walk around on the sides of the hall trying to get all the lights to change colors. So. Um, with that being said, I mean, I know that the both IR4s have a, a robust uh, master-slave functionality just because you can actually control the lights while they're in that master-slave mode. It is, an, it is an IR remote, but, you know, you can you can kind of control that, that master light if it's right next to you. Um, so I'm definitely going to look into those a little bit more um, and uh, consider my options uh, just because, you know, with, with how limited the range for that RF remote, it really takes away a lot of that advantage that having 
are owning the Rockville Mini RF4s would provide. Yeah, hopefully you guys found that helpful and uh, feel free to leave any comments with any questions um, or anything else that I can uh, try to help with. Thanks for stopping by.